Hello and welcome to this section of the Physics 3 Tutor. This section we're going to continue to talk about magnetic fields, magnetic forces. Uh, we're going to work a couple of problems to really give you a little bit of practice. Now if you remember, uh, the last couple of sections we were talking about the magnetic field, a lot of it was just getting you comfortable with what it is. There was really only one equation in the entire section and that was the force that a magnetic field exerts on a particle that's moving through the field because it has to be moving, right, in order to get a force at all. So these problems are going to zero in and focus on, on learning how to use that. And the first problem goes like this. An electron in a TV tube moves at a speed of 7.2 times 10 to the 6th meters per second in a magnetic field of 83 millitesels. At some point, the acceleration of the electron is 4.9 times 10 to the 14 meters per second squared. What is the angle between the magnetic field B and the velocity V. So there's a lot of information here, but we know how to do this because when you look at it, first of all, we know it's an electron, so we know what the charge is, right? Uh, we know what the magnetic field strength is, 83 milliteslas. We don't have any information about the direction of the field. We don't have any vectors that are governing the direction of the field. Uh, we have the velocity, but again, we don't have a direction. We don't really know a direction, and we don't have a vector for either one of those uh, quantities. We know the acceleration, we're going to figure out how to work that in later, and we're trying to find the angle. So if you think back to the actual equation, the original equation that we talked about, the, the, the full version, it's QV cross B, right? Really, we know what the charge is, we, uh, we know what the velocity is, and we know what the magnetic field is. We don't know the directions, though, so we can't really compute a true cross product. So this is a great example to try to use the sort of the simplified version, the magnitude of this force, magnitude, right, is going to be QVB times the sine of the angle between them. QVB times the sine of the angle between them. Because ultimately we're trying to find out what the angle is between them. That's what we want to know. We don't care about the direction everything's pointed. All it's asking for is the angle between them. So if we could somehow put everything into this equation and calculate the angle between them, because we, we can find what the sine is, the inverse sine, then we'll have the answer. The problem is, the problem doesn't actually tell us what the force of this, this magnetic field is exerting on there. We don't know that. So let's see what we do know. We think we're going to use this. What do we actually know? Let's write that down, because it's very helpful to do that. The velocity is 7.2 times 10 to the 6 meters per second. The magnetic field strength is 83 milliteslas. Okay, that's good. The acceleration, we're not sure how we're going to use that yet, but 